Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumiset. In this video, we'll cover top 10 DPT interview questions. Okay, those are preparing for interview. This video, this video will help you. Okay, the first question is, what is DPT? DPT is a data build tool. Okay, it is used for a data transformation. It is used to transform the data that has been already loaded in the respective data platform. So it's a data build tool used for, it's a data transformation framework, mainly to transform the data that has been already loaded in the data platform. It can be Snowflake, it can be Redshift, or BigQuery, or Databricks, okay. So the next question is that what, what is DPT model? So models are nothing but those are dot .SQL files that contains transformation logic okay simply says select statements are with class the common table expression so models are dot sql files that contains the transformation logic simple see what happened these are sql select statements when you try to run dpt model respective table or respective views will get create it's a dot sql files that contains the select statements the transformation logic will be built here when you try to run Respective tables, respective objects views will be created. Okay, hope this is clear. So next question is that what are four metalizations? These are tables, views, incremental, and F1. So these are the four metalization support by DBD. That is table, view, incremental, and FML. Okay. And one more next question is that what what are DBT seeds? So DBT seeds are nothing but say CSV files. Okay, see so these are nothing but CSV files. It is for static data and for small volumes of data. Simply, seeds are nothing but CSV files. When you try to run seeds, tables will get automatically created in the Snowflake database. Okay, database. So these are CSV files. And next question is that what? How to run a DBT model? So DBT, by using DBT run, we can able to run the DBT models. And sixth question is that what? how to generate documents okay by using dbt doc generate we can able to generate the documents okay our next question is that what what are the snapshot meta columns there are four snapshot meta that is dbt scid snapshot id okay updated at and valid from valid to so scd id updated at valid from valid to so the first two are used by intel for dbt so these are valid from valid to to track scd type 2 so db team scd id updated at valid from valid to okay and next column is that next question is that what does fml create dbt object so no so it is not a database object physically database object is not created in a snowflake let's say answer is no and next question is that what how to refer a variable so by using var function so var and we should pass the variable name so by using var function we can able to refer a okay variable and next question is that what what is fully qualified this one will use regular name snowflake and dbt that is database name schema name and object name so one more time the database name schema name and object name is called as fully qualified name okay so these are important those are preparing for this okay watch the video if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching